Buenas and half a day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us here at your Guam Congress building. I am so proud and privileged to be with um, my colleagues in the 34th Guam Legislature to welcome you as we celebrate International Women's Month and Mesh Chamoru. So I think it's a really great opportunity for us to come together. I want to thank Vice Speaker Terlahi, Senator Talina Nelson, and Senator Luis Borja Munya for joining me today, and especially all of you. And as we begin this presentation, I'd like to invite you all up to join us as we read the resolution, and then we'll take a group photo and get things started from there. So please come join us. And that too. <laughs> yeah. So while everybody's kind of making their way up here, I did want to take the opportunity to, again, thank my colleagues, but also recognize um, the presence of some very special individuals. We have Chief Justice Catherine Merriman here today joining us. Our first female Chief Justice. We also have former Senator Lou Leon Guerrero here with us. And so at this time, it's really my privilege to present resolution number 370-34 relative to observing and commemorating Women's History Month during the month of March 2018 as a time to celebrate the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women, to call for accelerated gender parity, and to acknowledge the extraordinary legacy of equality and progress built by courageous women who believed that the most basic human rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness belong to all people, regardless of their gender, their age, their race, or their creed, and to further recognizing and commending the great Chamorro and Guamanian women whose achievements and con contributions have paved the way towards progress and success for all. Be it resolved by Imina Trentai Kwachu in a legislatura in Guahan, whereas Chamorro society was traditionally matrilineal, whereby land and resources were passed through maternal lines of inheritance, and whereas women on Guam led in all facets of society, in all the major professions and businesses, and are politically engaged and active in the church and community, and whereas it is without question that throughout the course of history, progress of nations and the advancement of people throughout the world have been significantly influenced by the immeasurable courage of women who steadfastly believed in building an extraordinary world founded on the principles of equality and opportunity for all. And whereas on March 8, 1980, U.S. President Jimmy Carter issued a presidential proclamation declaring the week of March 8 as the first National Women's History Week honoring and recognizing the contributions of women throughout America, American history. And? Whereas, whereas the U.S. Congress designated the month of March 1987 as Women's History Month. And since 1988, U.S. presidents have issued annual proclamations designating the month of March as Women's History Month. And whereas the U.S. Congress recognizes that women of every economic, social, and ethnic background have served as leaders in the forefront of every major progressive social change movement. And further recognizes that despite these contributions that have tremendously shaped the identity of our nation, the role of women in history has been consistently overlooked and undervalued. And whereas Ilehes Latorn Guahan has adopted numerous resolutions recognizing Women's History Month and International Women's Day, and the equal rights and inherent human dignity of women are enshrined in the Charter of the United Nations, and whereas March 8th is recognized throughout the world as International Women's Day, a time for all people to celebrate the gifts of diversity while embracing the values of equality, and for women worldwide to continue contributing to social, economic, cultural, and political achievement, and. 
Whereas the United Nations also recognizes International Women's Day as a time to reflect on the progress made, to call for change, and to celebrate acts of courage and determination by women who have played an extraordinary role in the history of their countries and communities. And whereas women's work is constantly being redefined, and today women have the power to change the destiny of a family, a neighborhood, a village, our island, this nation, and our world. And whereas women's rights are human rights, a fundamental knowledge that should be recognized by all. And whereas awareness of women's issues has been amplified on Guam over the past year through panels, forums, and conferences hosted by various civic organizations, these events have provided a space for women and men alike to discuss and become knowledgeable about the challenges that women face on our island. These events give prominence and urgency to women's issues and continue to encourage women, men, businesses, and organizations to stand firmly behind the principles of gender equality, equal rights, opportunities, and access to resources, and equal sharing of responsibilities for families and communities by women and men. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Imene Trensai Kwachun and Les Luter in Guahan does hereby, on behalf of the people of Guam, observe and commemorate Women's History Month during the month of March 2018 as a time to celebrate the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women, to call for accelerating gender parity, and to acknowledge the extraordinary legacy of equality and progress built by courageous women who believe that the most basic human rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness belong to all people, regardless of gender, age, race, or creed, and does further recognize and commend the great Chamorro and Guamanian women whose achievements and contributions have paved the way for progress and success for all. And be it further resolved that the speaker certify and the legislative secretary attest to the adoption hereof and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to the Guam Memorial Hospital Volunteers Association, the Guam Women's Chamber of Commerce, the Guam Chamber of Commerce's Chamber Business Women's Network, the Guam Women's Club, the Seroptimus International of Guam, Seroptimus International of the Marianas, Women Veterans of America, Guam Chapter 43, the First Hawaiian Bank and Guam Business Magazine Business Women of the Year Program, the Federation of Chamorro Women's Association, the Guam Council of Women's Clubs, Fuetsen for Malawan, the Filipino Ladies Association of Guam, the Japan Club of Guam, the Chinese Ladies Association of Guam, the Indian Women's Club of Guam, the International Women's Club of Guam, the board members of the Guam Chapter of the National Association of Social Workers, the National Association of Women in Construction, the Korean Women's Association of Guam, the Palau Women's Club of Guam, the Association of American University Women, the Guam Laddystone Lions Club, the Regalu Foundation, the Bank of Guam Women in Business Program at the Small Business Development Center, Island Girl Power, the Guam Girl Scouts, First Lady Christine S. Calvo, and to the Honorable Edward J. B. Calvo, Imega Lahin Guahan, duly and regularly adopted by Imina Trentai Quatru Nales Luteran Guahan on this 29th day of March 2018. And so I'm just so privileged to join my colleagues. Senator Munya, Senator Nelson, Senator Camacho Torres, who was unable to be with us today, and Vice Speaker Terlahi, in presenting this resolution to observe and commemorate Women's History Month to the Chief Justice of our court system, <laughs> Chief Ju Justice Catherine Merriman, and to all of the women and the men that support us who are behind me as we celebrate this very, very important um, commemoration ceremony and this important month for the people of Guam. Sizos Maasi. Thank you. And at this time, we'll just pose for a quick group photo, and then we'll go ahead and organize all the women's groups to come up, and um, we'll 
give them their resolutions as well. And I just want to take an opportunity to really thank everybody. I know that today is a day that we're celebrating, but we're also celebrating all the other days of the year that we work, that we organize, that we encourage and inspire each other, that we educate our community. All of the work that we do day in and day out for our communities, for our businesses, for our children and our families, all of the very, very important work that we do as women and as mothers and as leaders in the community. And on behalf of the people of Guam, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, and for your work. Thank you.